The next story is about a Moses Lake woman that is becoming a phenomenon when it comes to crafting. Moses Lake's Disney Paulus is a busy mom, a popular blogger, a minister's wife, and a crafty person with her own home studio. Now she's an author. Disney has blogged on the web about crafting and life's joys and challenges for about five years, generating nearly 11,000 followers. She has been into crafts for about eight years. I remember when I first started blogging, or maybe about a year into it, my husband said, are you worried that, you know, you're going to run out of ideas and not be able to blog anymore? I was like, no, <laughs> never. Disney's blog can be found at rufflesandstuff.com. She explained how she thinks her following grew. I think I kind of started at the right time, back when there weren't a whole lot of blogs, so that helped. And I worked really hard in the beginning to kind of put my blog out there on different forums and things like that um, to kind of advertise it. From there on, it just kind of snowballed, I guess. Blogging letter to a publisher and writing a book about kids' clothing refashioning. The book's title is Little Fixes, 54 Clever Ways to Extend the Life of Kids' Clothes. Little Fixes was published by Stash Books, a subsidiary of C&T Publishing. She tells readers how crafty moms who love to sew can dress up, patch up, or alter fast-growing kids' clothes. The book is on sale at Hastings in Moses Lake and Dog-Eared Books in Afreda, plus Amazon.com and other online book outlets. This was actually born out of a blog post that I wrote a couple of years ago about my daughter's clothes and how she had grown out of them so quickly or, you know, she was kind of petite, so she didn't fit a lot of things very well. And she's such a, she's such a messer. <laughs> she just spills stuff all the time. And it felt like I was constantly throwing away clothes, or, and it felt like a big waste. And I thought, well, I sew. I can fix this. I can put cute little patches on. And, and then my mind just started reeling with the different ways that you could uh, fix little mistakes in clothing or, you know, little mishaps. And, um, so I wrote a blog post about it because I thought, oh, I should share this with other moms because I know they're struggling with that as well. The models used in the book are her daughter Paige and kids from her husband, Pastor Micah Pallas's Church of Christ on Sharon Avenue. She wrote and shot all the photos for the book and learned that writing a book is more hard work than romance. Disney shared her passion for crafting. My mom was really creative growing up and she really encouraged that in all of us, I think. I do a lot of sewing on and off. But my favorite are probably the glue gun crafts, where it takes not very long. <laughs> my attention span loves those, those short things. Um, home decor type things. Uh, I love to make decorations and wreaths and um, party stuff. That's really fun for me. Disney is mulling over ideas for a second book and will continue to blog. I'm Jeff Chu for iFiber One News. If crafting is a little slower paced than you would like in a hobby, we have something a bit more exciting. What do you get when you mix a homemade mallet, a mini soccer ball, and a four-wheeler? A new sport called quad sport polo. Played on a sandy surface roughly the size of a football field, this new sport is turning heads. Quad sport polo member Juan Tron says the rush is unlike any other sport. The way that we're playing now is it's a blast. Um, and it's a really high adrenaline game and it's all about scoring. So if you can take hockey and quads and put it together, we kind of came up with quad sport polo. It's very similar to regular polo, but instead of riding on a horse, you were riding on a quad. And instead of using your right hand, which is traditional in equestrian polo, you were using your left hand because 80% of the game depends on being able to control your quad. So it's a lot of fun. It's very, very fast action. We do a lot of quick turns um, on these quads, and so we're really pushing the way the quads are written now. Quad Sport Polo members meet once a month at the Moses Lake Sand Dunes. For more information, check out their Facebook page. For iFabro One News, Sean Wells. And that wraps up our weekend edition. I Fiber One News will be back on Monday at 5 p.m. with the latest news from around the Columbia Basin. Thank you for watching.